Hey YouTube, I've had a couple questions regarding how I built my first hybrid rocket engine. It's pretty simple, I made it out of some very easy to get brass fittings from my local hardware store. First I took a barbed hose fitting. The outside diameter of the barbed part is 3 16 inch and the threaded part outside diameter is half inch. This will go to your oxygen tank, the hose will attach on there. Then I have a reducer fitting. The this side here, inside diameter is 5 8 inch. And this side, inside diameter, is half inch. Then I have a 2 inch long piece of brass pipe. It's threaded on both ends. And the outside diameter of this is 5 8 inch on both sides. Then I have a coupler fitting and the inside diameter on both sides is 5 8 inch. Then I have another barbed hose fitting. I use this for the nozzle. And the barbed part is quarter inch. And the threaded part is 5 8 inch. Then I took a 2 inch or so long piece of polyethylene pipe. It's half inch in diameter. And then I took a little slice of polyethylene tube to use as my, as you'd say, my fuse. Then what you do is you, after you've gotten all your parts, start to assemble it from the back end forward. You want to put your nozzle on last. So after it kind of looks like this, you take your tube and you stick it in there and make sure it goes in uh, pretty far back, about halfway back on this coupler. Uh, after a few runs it's going to get pretty gunked up so you might want to use some kind of solvent to get all the junk out of it so you can put this in easier otherwise you'll need a vice grip or something like that. So after you've stuck that in there put your nozzle on and make sure all the pieces are tightly screwed together because you don't want anything to leak. And then you take your fuse and you stick it in and make sure that it's about two inches long so it can get back to this tube so once you stick that in uh, go ahead and connect it to your oxygen tank and turn your oxygen on low and then take your blowtorch or whatever you have and light the fuse or the polyethylene sliver and that will start to work its way back into the engine and after a couple seconds turn your oxygen on high and it should catch the bigger piece on fire and produce some thrust and after maybe 30 seconds or so it will be all out depending on the amount of oxygen you're using so that's what it should look like after you're done and as you can see it has a little uh, corrosion and all that kind of stuff on it. Some black stuff. Uh, it'll be normal for it to sometimes pop because the polyethylene will get stuck in here and shoot out and stuff. Uh, don't ever stand downrange from the nozzle because it could shoot a piece of polyethylene tube pretty far. If you have any questions or comments please post and I'll try to get back to it as soon as I can. Thanks for watching.